The 1970s was a decade of change. African Americans, Native Americans, and women continued their fight for equality. Many Americans joined the protest against the ongoing war in Vietnam, and the behavior of President Richard Nixon undermined many people's faith in the good intentions of the federal government. There were also plenty of nostalgic moments between the wild fashions of bell-bottom jeans, TV stars like Farrah Fawcett, and the disco era. Let's not forget the shag carpeting that designed homes and the stylish bowl cuts that many kids had. In the 1970s, families only had one phone in their house. There was no such thing as a mobile phone. It was a rotary phone that stayed in some central location, usually in the kitchen, with a cord that could only be stretched so far. There wasn't call waiting or caller ID at the time, so you wouldn't know who was calling you or whose calls you had missed. The 1973 oil crisis caused a nationwide panic resulting in around-the-block gas station lines that never seemed to move. Some gas stations even started posting color-coded flags. Green indicated they still had gas, while red alerted customers that they were out. Any worksheet or homework assignment passed out to students in a 1970s classroom was likely created using either a ditto or mimeograph machine. Who could forget the way they left purple ink on your fingers or that unmistakable smell? Long road trips happened in the family station wagon. There were no GPS systems, and no digital distractions of any kind for that matter. This was a time when families spent their time playing license plate bingo as there were no smartphones. There were also limited food options along the interstate, so families would pack their own food for their trips. Another big change that took place in the 70s was the women's liberation movement. It really took hold in that era and brought attention to the inequalities for women in society and the workplace. It was a time when women began to be accepted in many different roles, not defined by their gender. Television in the 1970s saw a lot of significant changes. TV was a big source of entertainment for families and was now in most households. Average Americans relied more on television than newspapers for the latest and freshest news. Most of the news during this time included updates on the Vietnam War and the Watergate scandal. Popular TV shows now included Happy Days, The Mary Tyler Moore Show, The Six Million Dollar Man, and MASH. Saturday Night Live was also well received. It's now the longest running sketch comedy and variety show in television history. If you were a kid during this decade and wanted to catch your favorite cartoons, there was only one time to do it, on Saturday mornings. Soap operas also ruled the 70s. Everyone watched them and their storylines became part of popular culture. The ABC lineup started with Ryan's Hope and went on for three and a half hours, ending with General Hospital. Jaws was a major blockbuster hit. Steven Spielberg's 1975 classic had almost no special effects, and the shark was only seen for a few minutes at the very end. But it had a psychological effect that made the entire generation terrified of getting into the water. The next big blockbuster of the decade was Star Wars, which premiered in theaters on Memorial Day weekend in 1977. With its groundbreaking special effects, Star Wars leaped off screens and immersed audiences in a galaxy far, far away. The film made all three of its lead actors overnight stars. The anticipation of a revolutionary movie-watching experience spread like wildfire 
causing long lines in front of movie theaters across the country. The American auto industry started experimenting with developing small cars with better fuel efficiency. AMC was the first to market in 1970 when they introduced the Gremlin. Ford followed with the Pinto and Chevrolet with the Vega. Though they sold fairly well, especially when gasoline prices started to rise, all three vehicles developed reputations for poor construction, fit and finish, and reliability. By the end of the 1970s, disco was in. The film Saturday Night Fever made its debut in 1977, and the music scene was forever changed. The film popularized disco all around the world. Disco skate nights also became immensely popular, especially while skating along with a Bee Gees song. Alongside disco, music of this decade included listening to eight-track tapes of Jackson Brown, Olivia Newton-John, Donna Summer, and Marvin Gaye. On the rock front, bands like the Rolling Stones, Van Halen, Pink Floyd, and Queen dominated the airwaves. Additionally, the 1970s saw a return of handicrafts like latch hook rugs and macrame, and sports like racquetball and yoga gained popularity. Popular toys during this decade included the Nerf Ball, which was billed as the world's first official indoor ball. Magnadoodles and Pet Rocks were also popular toys of the time. There was also the first home video game, Pong. The video game console played only one game, a game that simulated table tennis. What do you remember most about the 1970s? Whether you were a teenager trying to figure things out or just getting married and starting your own family, there's one thing for sure, the 1970s was an unforgettable decade.